Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to update your BitBoy to the latest Rev 3.6 custom firmware. So this BitBoy is a Rev 2, but I'm pretty sure we can update it and it should actually work. So what I'm going to do, take my BitBoy, we're going to go and take out our micro SD card. We're going to go and connect this to our PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so over on your computer, I will leave a link to their GitHub in the description of this video. And if you guys have seen my last tutorial, as you can see, when I made this, it was quite a while ago, it was back in March, and this was the version 2 image. Right now, we're on the version 3.6. So what you guys want to do from here is just click on download. From here, we can actually download the version 3.6 image. It actually comes in a zip file. It's got the image file in there. So just click on the download icon at the top here. And it's going to bring you to this page and just click on download anyway and this will start downloading keep in mind this is 700 megabytes so it might take a while to download so i've already downloaded it before i started but you guys just let that download now once we've got that we want to go to the second link this is where we can get the windows 32 disk imager this is what we will use to install that image file onto our micro sd card so again click on the download link it's going to bring you over to this sourceforge page and uh, what we can do from here is just click on the green download button and it's just going to download the setup exe so again wait about five seconds and then this will begin downloading i've actually already got this installed so i'm just going to leave that like that okay so once we've got these two files what we can do from here is actually just plug in our micro sd card now you might be like me and have the old version installed as you can see it just comes up with all this rubbish so make sure to just click cancel and all of that stuff make sure you do not format it just yet um, but what i would recommend doing is actually just formatting it because from there um, we can basically install the latest version so make sure you just close off all these file explorer boxes these are kind of annoying but they pretty much just come up every time you plug in the card okay so what have we got in here we've got our boot and we've got our main what you want to do is find where you've got your roms because when we format this you will lose everything on here but make sure you back up your roms folder so as you can see here is mine i've actually already reinstalled this so this is pretty pretty much a blank card for me but if you guys have anything on here that you want to keep make sure you delete it first from there what we want to do is go to the search option and just type in hard disk you can also follow along if your sd card is blank um, if yours doesn't look like this you can follow along perfectly fine as well Okay, so once hard disk opens or the disk management, what we want to do is just find it here. So here is mine, um, disk one, eight gigabyte. Make sure you do not like do anything to your disk zero. This is your main hard drive. What we want to do from here is just right click and we actually just want to delete the volumes. So just delete all of these volumes. Um, basically what this is going to do is just like start to delete everything off the SD card. So it's basically going to turn into a blank SD card again. From there we will be able to format it and burn a new image onto it. So I'm just going to go through, delete volumes on all of these. It might take, you know, just a couple of seconds to actually delete them. Okay, so there you go. What's going to happen is it's going to come up with unallocated. Right click from here and just click on new simple volume. You want to click next. Uh, make sure that is the same as that. Click next. Choose a letter if you want. E is fine on my one. So click next. Um, file system, you can leave that as FAT32. Just leave everything. You can add it like a label if you want to. I'm just going to do next and then finish. It's then just going to allocate, you know, a volume to it. And we can then close out of the disk management. Next, we need to go back to our downloads folder we where we have downloaded all of our files. And as you can see, our SD card has come up here and now it's completely blank. It's got nothing on it. So what we can do quickly, we can actually just click it and then just click on format disk. And um, we're just going to choose that FAT32 default allocation sites, click start and then just click on OK. Then just wait for it and there should be a text box that comes up any second. There you go, format complete, just click on OK and we can now close out of that. And there you go, we've now got our 8 SD card, 8 gigabyte, um, or how many gigabytes yours is, and it's completely free. So what we want to do next, make sure you have installed the Windows 32 disk imager, double click on this, and you want to go through with the whole setup. So um, pretty much just agree to it, quick next, all of that kind of stuff. I'm actually just going to cancel this because I've already got this installed, so there's not much point of me reinstalling it. So once you've got this set up, you can actually just delete this so it doesn't get confusing. Get the BitBoy zip file, right click and select extract here. This is actually a 7-zip file, so you might need WinRAR or 7-zip to actually extract this one. Um, but we're just going to wait for it to extract the image into our downloads. So once we've got our image extracted into our downloads folder, this is where we want to open up the Windows 32 disk imager. 
So just go to your search icon and type in Win32 and it should actually come up as the first option. So you can just click on this and it's just going to open up. You might need to click yes and um, it should just load up perfectly fine. So what we're going to do from here, we need to find our image file. Now this is what we've got selected in our downloads. Also make sure you select your SD card. Do not select anything else because it will format it. So we are just going to click on the file icon right here. It's going to bring us out to our downloads folder and from here we can select our image and just click on open. So you can pretty much leave everything else as the same, but what we have to do is actually just click on write. Um, this could actually take some time, but this is going to write the brand new image onto our SD card. So it's going to have a progress bar right here. We're going to have to wait for this to complete, um, but I will be back when this is done. Okay, so once it's done, it's going to say format complete and then it's just going to kind of like remount itself. And again, it's gonna come up with all these stupid text boxes. So we need to get cancel, okay. Um, don't worry if you're, you're not doing anything wrong, you pretty much just like, just opens everything it would have formatted. So here we go. So we've got a different boot section. We've now got a main section, which doesn't seem to be working. And we've got this section. Okay, so it's a bit different from last time. So the drive H or the last one on the list is where you will put your ROMs by the looks of it. Oh, okay, so this looks a lot better than last time. It looks really well organized now. So again, I haven't seen this version before, obviously. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're going to go to our downloads folder. We're going to find our ROMs. I've got Pokemon Gold for the Game Boy Color. Now it's entirely up to you where you decide to get your ROMs from. Um, I actually backed mine off of cartridges, but we're going to go back onto this. We're gonna go into the ROMs folder. We're going to find Game Boy Color, and I'm just gonna paste my ROM in there. Obviously, you can put your ROMs in folders. You might have more than me. You've probably got Game Boy Advance, NES. Just put them in their folders where it says the extension at the end or you can also look and type and there you go that's pretty much it we've now set up our sd card we've got our games on here so what we're going to do we're just going to disconnect this from our computer let's go and plug this into our bitboy and let's test out the new operating system okay so once we're back let's just get our micro sd card let's put this back into our bitboy okay from here we can actually just turn our bitboy on um, it's actually going to take a bit longer to boot because this is quite like a um, you know new custom firmware It's a bit better than the other one So we're just going to launch this up as you can see we've got a new boot screen NX hope it's then just going to um, kind of like load and um, Oh, that's really cool did not have that last time. It's like a classic Game Boy boot screen and There you go. It's going to load so I said it would take longer I'm actually, I'm not too sure. That might have even been quicker, to be honest. Um, I don't know. And um, as you can see, we're on the home screen right now. It looks a lot different. So it looks like we're selected on emulators currently. If you press the black button here, so we've got emulators, we have got apps, we've got settings, and we've got ports. Pretty much um, how it was last time, but it's got a much better theme to it. It's um, in a much better layout. And um, we've actually got loads of new ports on here. So we've got... Um, as I said, open board emulator, we've got Doom, we've got Hexen, Cave Story, really cool stuff. Um, we've also got the settings tab just like normal, everything else pretty much the same. So what we can actually do from here, we can go and launch up our Game Boy Color ROM because that was the ROM I chose to add. So we're just going to launch this up using the Game Battle emulator, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So we're just going to press A to launch into this. We need to find our Game Boy Color folder, press A on that. We've got Pokemon Gold version, so we're just going to press A on this ROM, and it's actually just going to load it up like normal. So it's pretty much the same, you hold select and then hold A and B to turn up for the uh, volume. You hold um, the select and then these two black buttons right here, that is for the screen brightness. Obviously we can press R to enter into the settings. Um, so let's just change the settings real quick. Let's press A to, oops, I think it was B actually. So let's just press... Is it B or is it this black button? Okay, it's this button right here. So let's go into the settings. Uh, we need to change the um, screen size. So we're just going to scalar, um, full screen smooth, I guess. Okay, that looks pretty good. Or is it full screen fast? Oh, the fast version looks much better, actually. So do that. We're going to press B to go back. Or is it A to go back, A to go back. And there you go perfectly fine so that is pretty much it for this video this is the new bitboy rev 3.6 custom firmware maybe there will be some more custom firmwares in the future if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one